Michael's been away ah since um Friday. It's Sunday and Let's he's gonna come home tonight. Mama. So okay, fly it. I've been training Zeke <gasps> to give Michael the surprise announcement. Wow, good job. I was trying to think of something fun and elaborate for um like the announcement or to surprise Michael. So I was thinking like should we have a shirt? Should he have like something on his shirt? Should we like have like a a cake and put like a little a little baby inside it or something? Like I was trying to think of something, but just wait, Zeke, just wait. Let me let me tell them the story. So um, Zeke, he's been really expressive these days and talking more. So Zeke, what's, what's inside mommy's tummy? What's inside mommy's tummy? What's inside mommy's tummy? A baby is baby. A baby, a small baby, right? So I feel like it'll be really meaningful if like Zeke actually tells dad because um, these days he's talking more and stuff and like he hasn't really been that comprehensive and like expressing his comprehension so I feel like it'll be really really meaningful if like Zeke is the one to tell him because surprise, surprise. because he's been talking a lot more these days so after church we're gonna reveal it to dad oh how was your trip? I mean, how, how was your retreat? Men's retreat? Well, it was a blessing. It was very good. Wow. I learned that I had the fear. I learned a lot about relationships, dating, mm -hmm. engagement, and marriage. Mm -hmm. I learned a lot about how marriage is the visible gospel. Mm. Marriage between us is just a small testimony to our marriage with God. Mm. Our livelihood here is a representation yeah. of that, and so the act of intimacy is is great. It's an amazing thing mm -hmm. that is just a for, small foretaste of uh, the greater pleasure of wholeness and intimacy that will have mm -hmm. consummation. Is it our wedding? Yeah, marriage with Christ. Right. You have to view the act of intimacy very mm -hmm. highly. It's, 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 it's hard gospel. to separate it from the relationship. You can't just really see it as the act physically. Mm -hmm. So much more goes into intimacy. Exactly. And so I learned a lot about why it is within the context of marriage mm -hmm. and how powerful it is and how mm -hmm. it reflects the gospel. Mm -hmm. So it was great. No, and, and I have a fear. Spicy. Spicy? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have a fear of speaking on camera alone by myself. Mm -hmm. When I'm with a family or a few, it's okay, but I gotta work yeah. on that. The chips are spicy, huh? Hey, Zeke, oh! Zeke, the chip, look! Look! The chip is going in my mouth, going in my throat, going in my belly. What's inside mommy's belly? A baby's belly. What? What's inside? What's inside mommy's belly? Mom! Hmm? Look. You wanna watch this? Mom, wait. I want you to see. Okay. When I say look. Zee, what's inside mommy's belly? Chips? Chips? Look. Chips? Look. Look. You're going to see it. See? Zee, what's inside mommy's belly? Mom, look. What's inside? Hurry. There's all red chips. Chips? What else is inside mommy's belly? Oh. Tell daddy. Tell daddy what's inside. A little what? Uh, what is he supposed to say? Zeke, tell him! <laughs> Zeke, tell daddy what's inside! Dad, mm -hmm. there's a baby inside mom's tummy. Really? No, really? Uh, uh. Really? Really? Yeah. You're pregnant? Yeah. Who wants to hold it No one. Wow. I wrote to my sponsor Mom. and I told her. Mm -hmm. Wait, that means you found out two weeks ago. No, I found out on Wednesday. Mom, look. 
when you took the test? Yeah. You lied to me. I lied to you so I could surprise you. Oh. Ta da! Two lines. Wow. Galahad, you're gonna be a big brother again. Mm. Zeke, you're gonna be a big brother. You're gonna be a Hyoma or Opa. We gotta buckle down with more Yo, responsibility. You know what? Those are like. I That's amazing. Like, All right, newfound motivation. Uh, I feel like honestly, like it's such a gift. It is a gift. And like, uh -huh. we weren't expecting it still at all. Still walk. Still walk. Wow. What do you want to show? Oh uh, wait. This is unreal. Wow. I know. Like we weren't even planning to consider it until our income like at least doubles. Like at least double so mm. that we could pay for a full-time postpartum care worker or nurse because my body gets like really 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 what's the word yeah. weak how do you feel sick and nauseous oh. i've been feeling nauseous since before um <laughs> zeke that's not how you ask how do you ask say pillow please we weren't even expecting this no like at all like no. like at all like I feel like it's such a gift. Yeah. But then, like, when we planned Zeke's pregnancy, I felt like it was out of also my own selfishness, too. And, like, this is purely, like, I feel like God is just blessing us. And in a way, like, because we wanted to plan our next, if we do have a third, because we weren't even sure if we wanted to have a third. If we do plan to have a third, then we wanted to plan it to be like... In a few years. Like in a few years, three, like four, at five least years. even for our income to double because my body gets really, really weak and sick after giving birth, especially after like my internal hemorrhage with Galahad and like I had two units of blood, like more than two liters transfused of blood into me because literally my blood levels were half, like they were half of an average human and anemia is accounted for if your hemoglo hemoglobin levels are 110 or lower and the average woman has 120 hemoglobin in the blood but those are the actual like blood cells but then i was 70. people say anemic is 110 like i was dead almost and yeah so like after zeke too we had to get like someone to help us uh, postpartum which is like after we have the baby to like be there to help like with the baby and also with me mm -hmm. so we wanted to hire someone like for a couple months um, after giving birth like full full time like every day almost hiring a support worker is expensive like that would be covered out of our own pocket since it's like three thousand a month <laughs> it's amazing i have an increased sense of responsibility right now mm -hmm. i think it's great Mm -hmm. It it's a motivation. You found motivation. This time, it was a prank that I said that I'm not. Last time was a prank that I said that I am. Yeah. I did a test. What's your test? Positive. That means positive. <laughs> yeah. What are we gonna do? Uh, That's the mother. Because I feel like this might what be one of those things mother? where, similar to Zeke. have a baby. Another baby sibling. I think in terms of a just. Sibling? How come this is on? <laughs> I'm not pregnant. Oh. Uh, come here. Huh? Come here. Come here. I'm not pregnant. I'm for fools. Oh. <laughs> I feel like it's perfect timing too because I'm gonna be home with him starting next month or starting halfway through December. I'm gonna be home with him where because since we're pulling him out of daycare. Right. And I'm gonna be boot camping him. I'm gonna really train him. Right. Discipline and love. He needs both of them. Yeah. Yeah. Guys! Oh my gosh. Do you want a girl or a boy? Honestly, as long as the baby's healthy, it really doesn't mm. matter. Mm. But like, I think because we already have two sons, it'll be nice if we could have a daughter. Right. What do you think, guys? Do you think it's better if we have three boys or? Let oh, I know. have to let it sit in. I really do. I have to sit it, let it sit in, really consider the next half year, the next eight months. The next the next year even. Two mm. years. No more bleaching. Yeah. 
guys. Yeah. I can't bleach my hair anymore. Back to black. Yeah. Well, can't I do more colors? It's you can do colors. I can do colors. Those are vegan, you know. It's yeah, they're natural. just made, made out of vegetables. Yeah, and that doesn't with damage the hair. Yeah. We'll do that for a time, and I think that's fine. Yeah. You have enough bleach videos anyway. <laughs> I think it's about time to move on. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think I'll probably keep coloring my hair until like seven months in. And then eight, nine, ten months, I'll go back to black. Or brown even. Because brown you're awesome. you're going to grow a centimeter every month. And yeah. let's say you're one month in, that's going to be eight centimeters by the time you're... Yeah, I could just do like a fade too and just keep changing the bottom. I could do a shadow root. Can you go to red tomorrow night or tonight? Yeah, go I full can red. Do that. I wanted to film some videos like this though. Uh, then film a store one story video and then and then do it. Do over. it. Yeah. Oh, we have to fasten up, fast fasten up our pace then. We do. With, like the cutting. Am I gonna cut it this short though? I think in that case. Maybe I should cut it after it turns black. What do you think? I think cutting it is still good. I think it'll look nice with shorter hair and black. How do you feel, Galahad? Mm. Good? You were asking for a baby sister. Mm. Or another baby. I was asking for a baby sister. You were asking for a baby sister, huh? Do you think it's gonna be a boy or a girl this time? This baby. Boy. A boy? Say bye. 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 So, that's the news. That's it. <laughs> If you want to see more videos, definitely make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification. There will definitely be a lot more content on this channel. So I hope you're excited. And I'm gonna try to vlog my pregnancy and like, cause I didn't really do that for Galhats or Zeke's pregnancies. Um, so if you have any suggestions or if there's any specific like family or mommy stuff that you wanna see, Definitely let us know because those ideas will be really helpful for us. That's it. So see you next time. 